now the session is now recording. All right. <laughs> Are you having audio issues? Okay, Kat. Well, I hope you can hear me. Um, but if not, Kat, then just like um, I'll be posting this video. So if you have uh, questions that weren't answered on this video, then just give me a holler and let me know. But first, I want to begin first just to say thanks uh, to everybody. You guys for joining in. I appreciate it. Um, and you all, uh, I did post the update for the uh, your topic assignment. Let me make sure I have the right one up. That's not it. Okay, let me find the right topic sheet. I did send you guys that um, this morning, or I post. I sent that in an email, and I posted it on the the announcement. Mm -hmm. Hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you all, let me see if I can pull this up so we can see who you're going to be working with. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, like technology just isn't my friend, y'all. So thank you for bearing with me because um, I'm just not sure where my document is, but I'm I'm hoping that you all have, have seen the, the update. Have you? Yeah. Okay. So there were just a few changes that people um, switched around from the topics that they initially signed up on. So let me ask first, let me open it up to questions that you all might have about the project. Um, did you have a chance to review the instruction sheet? Um, do you have any questions about anything? Nothing? Y'all reviewed the instruction sheet? Okay. Well, this is going to be easy. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> so let me just go into my little, my little blurb. So with uh, this assignment, basically what you're going to be doing is working in groups. And this is the instruction sheet that is posted on Brightspace. So what you're going to be doing, if either you're working in groups or you're working individually, you are going to be... Um, looking at the topics that you that you signed up for whether it it well the the four um primary areas are race class social class gender and sexuality and you're going to be exploring these four issues uh, take your dog for a on social construction of it the everyday discrimination everyday discrimination um legislation or the economics of it so basically where i want you to begin when you're working with your partners, or even if you're doing this by yourself, is I want you to think about the sociological perspective that you're gonna be coming from or the paradigm you're gonna be researching. So if you re remember back to intro to sociology, it's either going to be structural functional, which is the overall picture, um, looking at the variables and bits and pieces in society that kind of come together to create the social norm that kind of guides us in our values and beliefs and how we think about things um, from a social perspective, that's structural functional. Symbolic interaction is that one that's kind of closer to home, uh, meaning that we're looking at how people make sense of the world around them, but also how they are interacting and how society is kind of creating um, the narrative and the way that they're choosing to interact. That's that symbolic interaction. And then there's social conflict. Um, and be mindful, y'all, please be mindful, good people. The social conflict is not a physical altercation, it's not verbal altercation, but it's a battle of wills. It's the, the haves versus the have nots, the inequality that's taking place in society. So with social conflict, you're looking at um, identifying a, a marginalized population, a minority group, a group that um, is struggling through an oppressed issue and trying to fight against the oppressor, which would be the louder voices, the ones that are making um, the social norms or setting the pace for the social norms. So that's going to be the first place you start. It's just identifying your sociological perspective. Um, after you do that, then your research begins and you can use whatever resources you want. Um, yes, I would encourage you and I would like for you to have um, some academic uh, resources in there, meaning like your academic journals, but I want you to be free, feel free to look at magazine articles, um, news stories, um, like things like 2020 or Dateline, um, podcast, anywhere uh, that, that, that you will find um, beneficial information as it pertains to your subject. 
there is a um on your on the uh our page our schoology page there is a um a module i keep getting tripped up on my words that i have a lot of resources um linked in there for you all uh, i'm going to pull that up real quickly so you can see that um and in that in that module let me go down here can you all see um my screen like <laughs> the page our page. so down here for supplemental resources if you click in there here i have a bunch of resources listed videos articles books things like that so you can look under victimization social class all of these are listed here for you um, now are we allowed to use those oh definitely that's why I okay have okay yes all of this is right here for you to use um and like when you're when you're going through some of these resources um like the, a, a lot of these are links, make sure that you check the bibliography or their references at the end of the articles, because that's going to give you even more resources that you can look at. Okay, so yeah, please do not shy away from this, the supplemental resources that is there for you to use. I'll be adding more resources to that um, either later this week or by Monday. I just need some help from the librarian to do that. Uh, <laughs> so those resources are there for you. So when you're doing your research, again, anything, any information that you find, like utilize it, because this is your opportunity, your time that you are going to be talking about, uh, like the, 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 the crux of it all, should I say, like, this is where we're going to have that courageous conversation. So I don't want you to, well, I want you to be respectful when you're presenting your information, while you're having your discussion. Uh, uh, about the topic, I don't want you to shy away from the, the the hard stuff. Like whatever needs to be said, just let it be said. But you know, be respectful about it, y'all. Y'all know how to do this. Uh, <laughs> but like, don't be afraid of the of the hard stuff. Um, for example, like when you when we had that video this past week about Larry King, you know, there was a lot of stuff that was discussed um, in that documentary. Um, from his lifestyle to lifestyle of uh, of Brandon, his family, uh, like that that documentary kind of gave us our beginning of the isms, you know, that we're going to be looking at this semester and some of the issues that we talk about with these um, topic assignments. So, if you need to re reference back to that documentary, by all means, feel free to do so. So, as you do your research and you're working together with your group. Um, Again, some are working with a group, some are working independently. With your group, you just wanna make sure that all of your resources or your, your stuff uh, kind of has a flow to it. You don't have to research the exact same thing, um, but make sure that your conversation has a flow as you're all sharing your bits and pieces of what you, what you researched. Uh, so when you get ready to do your video presentation, Again, it is 10 to 15 minutes that you are having a presentation of the information that, that you gathered. Now, your presentation can be any way you want it to be. It can be a roundtable discussion where you all are just on camera talking about your information. You can have a PowerPoint presentation. Um, if you want to have an interview with someone um, and have that as part of your presentation, you can do that as well. I want you to feel free and creative to talk about the issues that you have to, that, that you've researched. Um, one semester, uh, when we did this class uh, in person, I had a young lady who, her uh, topic was the economic of, economics of sexuality. And so the way that she brought that information is she transformed the classroom into an adult bookstore or, or an adult store. So she had the brown paper bags, y'all. <laughs> She had the video cases in the bags. She had some toys. She had candy. So she, I mean, she came because she, her, her whole um, perspective was, I want to show you how sex sells, not just in the form of, um, oh, well, you know, you, you could go get a, um, go find an escort or go find a prostitute, but I want to show you how it impacts our economy. So again, this is your opportunity to be as creative as you want to be. Um, so again, I'm saying like have a 10 to 15 minute video. However, if it goes over 15 minutes, don't worry about it. Don't feel like you need to edit yourself too much. Um, I would just say this, don't go over like 30 minutes. <laughs> if, you, if you can possibly keep it within 30 minutes and that would be great. Um, so you're gonna have your research, you're gonna do your video. 
and you're going to have your synopsis. Now, along with your video, what each group has to do is also submit four to five thought-provoking questions about the information that you presented. Because what's going to happen is, like, of course, our charge, the class's charge is we're going to watch your video presentation. We're going to read some uh, supplemental information, and we're going to have to participate in the discussion that you started with your presentation. So I need you to have four to five thought-provoking questions that people can respond to um, and respond in a way that is making them think about what they're thinking about, thinking about the information you presented, but then also some of the things that I'll be posting for folks to read. So on February 15th, that is when your video is due, that's when your questions are due. Now I did change the due date for the synopsis and I changed that to February 22nd because I wanted to make sure that I give you all enough time to write that uh, the paper part of this assignment. So that synopsis, every person has to write their own synopsis of the research that they've done. So the group is submitting one video, the group is submitting one uh, list of questions, and then each person is submitting a synopsis, okay? So then everybody is accountable for that. In your, um, in Brightspace, there is a rubric that is listed with the uh, synopsis. So you'll see how that's gonna be graded. There will also be a rubric for the presentation. I will be posting that one as well. Um, at the bottom of this instruction sheet, I just went ahead and put a checklist, just to uh, try to give you some organization, I guess I could say, in, in getting this uh, project finished. So you know what you need to do, who's going to be responsible for what, um, and then who's going to be submitting the final products. So when you are doing your video, um, you can definitely, each student has access to Zoom the same way we do here. So you don't need me to set it up. You can do that through Brightspace, that you can set up a Zoom appointment. Um, everybody has access to that. If you prefer like just recording um, using a video or the, the, yeah, the video component on your computer other than Zoom, by all means, you can do that as well. The only thing that I ask is that you make sure that it is saved as an MP4 file um, when you upload that so that I can transfer it and, and post it in, in the class discussion. Okay, so you will see on the uh, course uh, schedule that there are, oh, I thought I had it here. Oh yeah, that there are definite, definite weeks when uh, your videos and questions are gonna be posted. Now I have the videos and questions all due on the 15th, just for the mere fact, like we gotta be fair across the board. So there may be somebody's topic that's due or that's gonna be aired like in the beginning and someone that's aired at the end, but everybody has to have everything finished by one date so that everyone has an opportunity of uh, submitting their information in a timely fashion. So when you look at the course schedule, you'll see when I'm going to be posting um, your specific topic uh, and then I'll have your questions there as well. Okay, does anybody have any questions so far about anything? Hey Spencer, thanks for joining us. No questions? Y'all are easy today. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, sorry I was a little late. I just, I was trying to get my get my computer together. Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, so this is, this is the project, y'all. This is the student facilitator project. What you're going to be doing is the research, writing your questions, writing your synopsis, and then we'll post it. And again, everybody is going to be watching your presentation. Everyone will have to participate on the discussion board with your questions. Um, and again, and I'll be placing some supplemental articles um, during the time, along with, I should say, along with your presentation, just to give folks more information to, to kind of gnaw on uh, and add to the content of, the, of their responses to your questions. No questions? I figured since I was in a group by myself, I should definitely get on here and understand what we're doing. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you you are the the uh, one of the only ones who has this who chosen legislation, which is well, and legislation ahead. with race race with legislation. I felt was going to be like a a more easier topic, like a definite like because which it, side it, of legislation is it talking about? Is it talking about like in the lawmaking side? Whatever you choose, whatever however you want to explore um, 
legislation and race? Do you want to explore it? You can look at it from a historical perspective of this is yeah. th this is kind of where it started and kind of the direction that we're going in. Right. But then right. while you're looking at it from a historical perspective, remember to address it as these laws impact the way that we function in society by right. da 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 da. So yeah, that definitely with I legislation like it was a pretty broad topic and like definitely a lot of material in there. So I I felt like that would be a pretty. I was surprised no one else picked it. Yeah, I mean, I try to keep these topics as broad as possible because I want you all to, again, just think about what you're thinking about and what makes you scratch your head about fill in the blank. What, what makes me pause for the moment when I think about the, uh, the economics of sexuality, the economics of gender? Like, wh what does that mean, the economics of gender? You know, and, and we can think about this from the perspective of how they market clothing, how they market personal items. And what does that mean in the way that we now interact in society and what the expectations are? You know, so really just like this week, you start to think about what it is, the direction that you wanna go in, like link up with your group members, um, talk about things a little bit, whether it be exchanging emails uh, over the phone, if you wanna do Zoom, however you all decide to do that, it, it, it will work. But just start thinking about what direction you want to go in. Just start your research. Start your uh, thinking about your presentation, and then just be ready to hit the ground running, y'all. And it will be good. It'll be good. Any nice questions? To see everybody. It is good. I, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is the class like that. I mean, to be in person. Oh my gosh. This is the class for being in person, but we're gonna make it work online. Um, it's still gonna be good. We're gonna make it work. But does anybody have any any questions or comments about anything? Not that Miss Amber excited is to watch everybody's video. <laughs> I know. I'm looking forward to it. Miss Amber is silent, and I don't even know what to do with my life since she's not saying anything. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think on how, like, I mean, I know what how we're gonna go with it, but. I'm just trying to figure out like in my head, like which way I need to like go with it and researching it. For, for, for those of you that are in groups, just the thing that I would encourage you to do is to identify a, um, your specific uh, perspective that you're going in. Um, like again, like whether it's structural functional, symbolic interaction or social conflict, and that'll make it a little bit easier like for you as an individual in that group to figure out or to think about, okay, so what is it that I wanna talk about as it pertains to how we interact, as it pertains to how society functions, as it pertains to the inequality? What do I wanna talk about with that? And then that'll kind of give you that nice, easy flow when you're having your conversation and your presentation. So right. for that, do we each like, after we choose that, do we each do our own research on that and then just a group discussion? Is yes, that what? Okay. Yes, ma'am. And your group discussion can be just like this as a as a um, Zoom presentation. Um, if you want to, like, say, Kayla, within your group, if if you want to have PowerPoint to make your point, um, your other group members may not do PowerPoint, but it may be easier for you, like, for you to say, "I got to keep my thoughts straight and what I'm talking about." That's okay. You know, if somebody wants to add, let me show this quick video about da 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 da. -da that's okay. You know, however you all want to make that happen. I'm good with it. This is all about, again, you all kind of reaching beyond uh, the comfort zone, uh, challenging not only yourselves, but us as we watch the videos. Uh, so we can kind of think about things beyond uh, the foundation of what mommy and daddy, grandma, grandpa, auntie and uncle may have established for us. Dare I say that with maybe- my, with, the, with the research that we're doing on sexuality and everyday discrimination, like I, um, I, I was there. <laughs> okay. So I personally know how it feels like within the family, like to be discriminated because my, my mom just completely almost had a heart attack whenever I told her I was by. Okay. So, so was, and, and, and I, and I will say this, you all be, be comfortable um, sharing what it is you want to share. Like if it's coming from a personal perspective, I don't want you to feel like, you know, that I need to share my entire story. Wherever your comfort level is, then let it be there. You know, I don't, I don't want anybody to feel stressed about um, sharing anything personal. So however you are comfortable, then move on with that. Okay, any other questions? 
Oh, wait, your husband's in Kuwait, Kayla? Oh. Yeah. He left yeah, at the end of November. Your so sign choked me up. He can see my sign back there. Yeah, your, your sign. I only saw the bottom and it like choked me up. I was like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you all, right. yeah, thank you all for your service. Yes, thank yes, you. thank you. Yes, thank you. We made it under 300 you. days left. So we'll be praying for you guys. Like small stepping stones here. I love it. I love it. All yeah. right, y'all. Well, there's Speaking no other prayers. Thank I'm sorry, you. What'd you say, Spencer? I said I'll keep her in our my, in our prayers, my family or her family and stuff. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. It's a bad, it's a bad time to be anywhere right now. Yeah, but it, but hey, yeah. we, we we'll, we'll keep it keep it together. We're gonna keep That's her right. lifted up. <laughs> keep marching sure. forward. Yes, yeah, definitely, for sure. definitely. All right, y'all. If there's no other questions, comments, or concerns, y'all know how to find me either by phone or by email. All right, so one more time, I bid you all love, peace, and bacon grease. And I'm looking forward to the presentations, y'all. Looking forward to it. But call me I'm or not. email me. Call me or email me if you have questions. Amber, be quiet. You're good at talking. Like, you'll be Come great. You, you I will. know, but it's still. Amber, how are you, how are you feeling? You're going to be Matthew? fine. <laughs>